Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play the Factorio Way. Fatimix here, and as the title says, we are going to be looking at automating wood. There's a couple of ways to do this in this setup. One is through uh, the Angel's uh, bioprocessing path. Let me look this up real quick. Uh, we can get all the way up to Tree Arboretum here. We build the... Uh, it's around here. Yeah, you build the arboretums and they can create wood for you, but there's all kinds of things you have to do first. Mainly, you have to go out and explore. You've got to get one of these that says desert tree or swamp tree. you got to get a specialized tree. Then you, you know, can produce seeds and and from that and produce your um, your trees. I think the, the tree seed generators get the seeds and then the arboretum gets the tree itself. Um, so that's that's a fairly long and convoluted process and also you know we've got a bunch of research we got to do to get to it um, and then there's the fact that uh, you got to go explore and I don't really have the need to go exploring or the desire or the you know frankly the uh, confidence that I could protect myself a uh, long ways away into biter territory going to look for things like that so I did look around there was one uh, I could have gotten to but there is a better option first thing we need to get is uh, basic fluid handling fluid and that gives us all the various kinds of pipes so uh, we can build them out of anything build them out of stone copper uh, you know a lot of people like to build them out of stone in this mod, I actually went with iron because I not I'm building a ton of walls. I don't know if I have enough stone to use extra. Then the offshore pump is also part of this. Uh, it's moved here from the um, it's just a stock item you start the game with in Fidel. I like that better. And then uh, from here we can go to greenhouses. And this is the Bob's mod solution to automating wood. It's the easiest one to get. There is an issue, however we're going to need glass and um, that's gonna be that's not something we can produce at the moment so we'll have to get that sorted um, but basically the greenhouse works by you make seedlings out of raw wood and then you can turn you need water to combine with the seedlings to get uh, more wood so you have a small amount of wood to prime it and then you can run it and it'll give you a wood supply there are some other things we're going to need after that I'm just gonna go through those real quick while I am here uh, we're going to need the filter inserters this is the expensive one for this episode but it's going you know we're going to need it because going forward after I get wood set up I want to start working on a minibus um, we're not ready to go like bots and trains and stuff. That's green science. Um, Want to get a little farther along before I do that. Uh, but we're gonna. In the meantime, we're gonna need to have more automated production. We're really gonna start reaching the limits of what's sensible to do with the one assembler very soon. So. Uh, that's 75 reds. We're going to need to get this. And you see the basic electronic boards in there that are required. Which means I've got to do some more research in order to make that happen. Uh, the first one is... I don't even think I can see it here because I, I think I had to get fluid handling before I could get to it. So basic, yeah, basic chemistry. And the main thing I got out of this was the liquefier here, which lets you do the very beginning of petrochemical type of things. Um, and there's various different things we can produce here. And then from there uh, to coal processing. And this is necessary because for those circuits, we need um, carbon. And so we got to get the basic chemistry and the fluid handling in order to be able to produce the things to get to carbon so those were th those were the main research things I did also did some steel processing around at this time but uh, that that came just 
a bit later. Now let me take a look at the circuits real quick, show you what we're talking about there. I think it's, yeah, there it is. Okay, so you've got your basic insulating board, wood and stone. Okay, no problem. You've got the basic circuit board, takes those insulating boards, add copper cable. Again, no problem. Now, the basic electronic board, and it's a little bit overwhelming that this is my third tier board and it's still basic. How much time are we going to spend figuring out basic things? Well, this one needs solder, which is made from solder plate, which is made from tin and lead plate, and we could get those if we needed to from Bobmonium and Rubot. I don't have it set up, but we could. Then you got the basic circuit boards. You already have those. The basic electronic components are more of a pain. Tin to copper wire is, you know, tin and copper wire. Okay, I can do that. Again, I'd have to set up a tin production. But then it needs the carbon. And so I had to do the research to get the carbon so I could potentially get these. And these are needed for more yellow assemblers. They're needed for the filter inserters. They're needed for stuff that we're going to need soon. So it really was a requirement to, to get that done. So, to get forward on that then, I needed to get some um, bobmonium in order to do the glass. Because that's the, that's the cheapest, or the, actually the only way available to me right now. So if we look at our map here, I was going to go up here. Uh, we've got a 100k uh, ore deposit up there. But then I discovered I have this tiny little bit down here. And if I go take a look at that, it's right, you can't even hardly see it. It's, it's right in this, in this area, but there's this one spot here, 58 of them, that I, was, that I could stick a mining drill on and get to it within all the trees. So like we're, we're covered up by all this stuff, but I can actually get that little bit really close by here. And as it ends up, that's, that's just enough for the amount I needed to uh, get some get the glass minimum glass to get the uh, greenhouses okay so here we are with the setup that I decided to use for the bobonium and all of this is temporary so you got the drill and the crusher they can hardly see down there and this is for the stone but this thing right here produces it's the this is the ore sorting facility that we researched before and it produces one silicon ore, two uh, tin ore, and one slag every time it goes through. And there, there it goes coming out. And so I've got this to, to deal with the silicon, this to deal with the tin. And it'll take a while because it takes a few of these to get in here. And I got this convoluted spaghetti mess thing up here putting the long, long hand inserter to put the glass onto here and then put the glass up there. But Putting the silicon ore directly in to smelt it, uh, or whatever, is a slow and inefficient way of getting glass. It's not great. I won't want to be using it long term. But it did get us the amount that we need. See, there comes another set coming out. And here it goes. And it's going to give me glass in a second. And there's a couple glass going up there. I ended up with um, nine glass altogether and need four for a greenhouse. So it was just over a mine need for two greenhouses. And really one would have been sufficient. But, you know, I wanted to mine all this out. Took care of that. And then it was time to actually go get the greenhouse. At or I thought it was time to get the greenhouse itself running because we had a little visit here for some wonderful uninvited guests. But as you can see, the SMG had no problem with them. And I was actually able to do what I wanted to do because I had almost at this point built the stuff for the greenhouse, not quite, but then we had a lovely uh, invasion here. Um, so we had to uh, put up the stay out, do not disturb sign there with a few, a little bit of high velocity transcortical lead therapy. And then it was on to more important things. And here's a wood, the wood set up here. Let's see where that is. You can see it's we've put it directly down from, so the copper runs this way, copper and uh, stone from the steratite patch, and then this goes up and joins it using that same convoluted hop over the coal loop with a long-handed inserter deal. 
Um, so we've got an assembler here with uh, make, making the seedlings, which I've got in a loop for the greenhouses. And then I've got this chest here, which is set to only take one set. And the whole reason for this is that it's just it's going to buffer up one stack so that it's always got enough to make more seedlings. And the water comes from down here. They need power now, thanks to the AAI mod. Um, so we've got that. Uh, but the water has a ridiculous amount of capacity, 1,200 per second. And, this, and these only need 20 like every minute. It takes over a minute for a cycle to go with the greenhouse, which is why there's, you know, nothing's unloading here at the moment because they're all, you know, just processing very slowly. But gradually as this does this, like it'll fill up that one stack it needs, 200 wood in the chest. And then after that, it'll stop loading and it's all going to run all the way up here and join the rest of our operation. So now we actually have automated wood. So that's that's a key basic resource that we've got handled and we can move on to try and uh, get more things that we're going to need for a minute. So the next thing I added was steel. Um, it's always useful to upgrade uh, in case I want bigger chests. I can get the steel axe, all that. So I researched steel processing and this is, I just extended the loop here and put this in so that it can just, you know, as the iron circles around, it can grab that. And of course, I've got to pay attention to the balance, whereas how much of this am I getting and how much am I needed over here for other things, uh, all that fun stuff. But I've, I'm, I've, got, I've got a small amount of steel here, and this is all I really need to start up. There are a couple buildings that I want to use also for the minibus that require it. And let me take a look at those real quick. So you've got the warehouses that I've researched as also ore silos, but you know these are just basically storage. You can see this one requires 50 steel plates. It's more high capacity storage that I want to use to deal with uh, you know the, the flow of materials. So you know when a chest doesn't suffice, you get an ore silo or a warehouse in the Angels Bob setup. And this is on the other side. We're pumping out carbon now, which I talked about needing, and uh, this this is the, this required the basic chemistry and the coal processing research. Now we've got these new liquefiers, and this one's taking coal, making it into carbon dioxide, putting it over here into the carbon liquefier, which needs uh, the the coal to be crushed into crushed coal, and then fired in the furnace here into coke, and so you've got CO2 and coke turning into carbon. And I only had to run this for a very short time to get uh, a fair amount of it. So um, it's, a, it's a modestly, uh, you know, involved setup for this point in the game, but it doesn't, it's not going to have to run very much, just a little bit to get me the starter materials that I'm going to need for you know, the, the, the electronic boards I'll need for the filter inserters, for the more yellow assemblers, and those kind of things. And uh, that, that was pretty much it. That's the two hour, I uh, did about another two hour total gameplay, although, you know, obviously more off in between there, trying things out and discovering what didn't work and then doing it a way that did work. We did have another biter attack. We're up to about nine and a half hours gameplay at this point. And there's going to be definitely um, increased biter attacks as we go, so time time pressure continues. Um, but they haven't bothered me as much as I thought they would so far. And uh, they, I think we're ready to soon, not quite yet, but soon start making a significant expansion. And we'll be looking more in that direction next time. So until then, thanks for watching the Factorial Way. I'll be back with more soon.